Hello everybody, Flick here, welcome back to more XCOM Enemy Within, and before we move on, I wanted to rename that medal. The Nobody Died medal, that's a bit too bland, so I, I was thinking of calling the, the I Lived and All I Got was this medal, medal, but I don't think that'll fit in. So I thought maybe just add a, an exclamation and a question mark, because then it's like a sarcastic, Nobody Died? Really? Are you sure you were the one playing? That kind of thing, so... I'll go with that for now. Keep in mind I do have a backlog of these recorded, so if you want to suggest your own, I might change it further down the line. We'll see. But anyway, nobody's got that yet. Anyway, so, whatever. Let's see. I think we're going to do a covert operation, right? Yeah, we are. We might get the shiv first before that, so let's see. We did! Alright, we have our shiv, and it's actually not that shiv that's in that cutscene there, because it's the alloy one, so it's the advanced one. Assign new projects. So we can look at our shiv here, right? And it will be called, let's go, Goliath. Oh, I thought you could rename these. You can't? Oh, no. Cause, oh, I thought you could name them whatever you liked. That sucks. I was going to name it after Dragonacus. Well, that means I'm going to need to use some more rookies then because I've still got plenty of patron names to use. Well, that's bad. Alright, well, we know what we're doing anyway, it's the covert operation. Let's do this thing. Send extraction squad. Exalt is inbo inbound, so let's go. Alrighty, so... We, look forward to seeing your progress. we have everybody back now, actually, so... We have three supports, right? Support, 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 we have two snipers. We don't need two snipers, I don't think, so... One sniper gone. Um. Rory's technically B-team, but he's really good, but he's B-team, so we'll put him away for now. So then, this is A-team, the only person we're missing... Ah, we're missing both our heavies. Do we have any rookie heavies? We do not. Unfortunate. Well, James Kilgore is named after a patron already, so we can use him. Do I have any spare armour, actually, now I think about it? Uh, it's probably not belonging to you, that probably belongs to Paul, if I had to guess. Before this mission, you can take it. Exalts. I don't think the Exalt will have laser weaponry yet, so you should be okay. And as it's Exalt, you don't really need to worry about much. Yeah, let's bring him as a rookie, and then let's like be really risky and just bring an absolute rookie. Where is a support? Uh, not a support, an assault. Or I could bring the Shiv. I seriously can't rename him. That sucks. I mean, I knew that Shivs had to have one word names, but still, come on now. I like that you've got plus 10 bonus defense as a result of being an alloy shiv. I want to bring the shiv just to try it. I like, I kind of like that it's blue. I like that. So this will be our team, right? One healer with three uses though. Mech trooper to punch many men. Oh, well, for bringing Fraser, you obviously need your med kit. Why don't I have your med kit? I really should just build another med kit. So I hate using make items available. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Fine, there. Right, we're done. Yes. Exit mission, let's go. Must remember that Mush Mush is obviously on the mission as well. It's unfortunate he can't take a laser pistol though because... Uh, yeah, laser pistol, I think. Or is it just because I don't have one spare? Because eventually the Exo get laser weaponry as well. They never go above lasers though, they never get the plasma stuff. I don't think. I've never let it escalate that far. Right, so which one are we getting then? Oh, it's the one where we've got to hold a certain area. I, I actually prefer this one. Good. So what our operative can do in this mission type is find little exalt towers and if he activates them every exalt on the map has to reload their weapon malfunctions. So he is still useful even though it's kind of like a hold the hell type mission. I'm sure Control will explain that now. Yeah, there it is. It's in a bad place. Yeah. Any hope we had of recovering the data intact will be lost. Yep, so two turns to hack that. If they hack it, they work out where this is. They hack that for two turns, we lose automatically. And there is XL on the map, and then there is multiple waves of reinforcements. And that sucks. So who is our... Well, this is me. I obviously have to move into a sniping position of some kind. With my appalling movement. There would probably give you good eyes. You might actually see someone. Let's see. Alright, you don't. That's fine, that's fine. Right, James Kilgore, you're low rank, but you have a smoke bomb, so... I think you being a man at the back might make a lot of sense. You're not going to get a good shot your first turn anyway, actually. So you can help defend the bus with Moosh Moosh, because that's the big thing. We need to make sure the transmitter is saved. The other thing can be lost. It doesn't technically matter. 
Uh, that's a minigun upgrade you've got, yeah. How are you going to get up there? Are you just going to hop? <laughs> you totally are. Okay. Uh, I won't overwatch with you just yet on the off chance you see someone. Same with CR. Taya. I'm getting heavy cover. Mm, who does that leave back here? Fraser. Okay, okay, okay. You can hang out with the shiv over there, I think. So, whoops. So, overwatch. Oh, I should have moved Mushmush before overwatching there, but luckily there's no visible enemies, so he shouldn't be in any danger. Fingers crossed. I totally forgot he was there. After saying, remember that Mushmush is here as well, I'm the one who forgot. I'm actually very surprised that some of the exalt on the map already didn't start the hack, because usually they start close enough to get hacking straight away. Right? Before I do anything else, I'm going to move Mushmush then, because I don't want to forget about him. So there, you've, you're in heavy cover on two angles, and you can just take shots from there. You have a grenade if all else fails. Okay. Mm, you're not going to move up to a position where you're going to have good cover if enemies are over that direction. You could run into full cover and maybe trigger some enemies, though. And it puts you close to the hack. Yeah, do it. Come on, James. Will you see anybody? Yeah, you will. Yeah, that's what I thought. They're right next to it, and they instantly start hacking, of course. So I can actually, um, what's, how do they refer to it? I can jam the hack or whatever by having one of my units in the AOE of it as well. Although that's a very small area of effect for it now that I think about it. Do I have any squad site shots? I don't, I just have a straight up shot by myself. Uh, do I need to waste my critical chance? I'll get it to 70% chance for a crit. Yeah, go for the kill. I don't know if that's the medic or not. There's usually one medic in their squad. So it looks on target. Nice. Oh. Actually, first of all, what I want to check is... They are still using ballistic weaponry. Fantastic. So unlike the aliens, they've not upgraded super, super fast. Um, yeah, you might as well, Mush Mush. Go for it. Nice! Two damage with a basic pistol. Oh, that's, I got a foundry upgrade, so... They're not as bad as they used to be now. Shiv might get a shot here. I thought Shiv's had suppression automatically. Why don't I have that? Well, it's the only shot you've got, so whatever. Any time you want to take it? Oh, okay. You just take out that bit of art, why don't you? Okay, my shiv is a bastard. We'll get CR up there, but I still want him to take a shot, but at the same time I want him to clear a lot of ground, because he's going to punch many, many men. 77, that's fine. It's a mess, yeah. You can tell by the angle. Okay, Freezer, Macbeth. I don't want to accidentally trigger another wave until I've dealt with this one, so... You're not going to get anyone, eh? You could just lay down some smoke then. Help some people out. Okay, give them all more defense. Because ships can't get the benefits of cover either. Taya, you're not going to get a shot, so you might as well move. I believe that's classed as being in the smoke, although that is for sure. And, and it's heavy cover, so in fact, run up there. Don't see anybody with your amazing eyesight. Okay, good. Yeah. And because they're staying in there to hack, though, that means they shouldn't run up to try and get flanking shots. Oh, their medic's still alive, though. Okay, as long as I get someone in the AoE this next turn, it's fine. Oh, scratch that, it may not be fine. Well, it still technically could be, because that means I will be... Oh, that's a heavy with a rocket. have to be very careful about him. Very, very careful. And they've got an overwatch. Okay, so I have two squad site shots. I can't tell if they're on medics or not. It's the only shots I'm going to get, so go for it. Okay, it wasn't a kill though. I don't have any heavies, so I don't have any rockets. That's bad. James has got one shot. You don't have a grenade. You might as well take it. Good hit. Okay, little chips of damage help. I could actually use Mush Mush to get the Overwatch out, I think. Yeah, come on, please trigger the Overwatch. Please trigger it. Yes! Is this what you're for, Mush Mush? You know what he's going to do now? He's going to throw a grenade. Although, actually, can I blow that up and give the exalt? Like, can I just give them that? Oh, that counts as friendly fire. It does. Is there any way I can throw this so it won't hit the computer daily and still potentially kill an exalt? That will hit two of them and it will kill one of them. Do it. Alright. Oh, I didn't actually realise that central bit of scenery was destroyed, but I've now left that wounded one in the open, so that's really handy. Right, James, you took a shot already, right? Yeah, you did. So, Taya, what can you do? I'm surprised you can't see anyone, actually. 
If you move around there, you definitely will, but they might flank you. I don't know if I want to do that move yet. Right, CR. Oh, you, can, you can't make it just inside. Ah! Hmm. Okay, well, he's going to have to, like, get in there. He could run, but at the same time... In fact, yeah, I'm not going to fire with CR yet, because I might make him run just so that he is in the AoE of that. Let's try and get the shiv in. Use the shiv as a bullet sponge, maybe get the kill at the process. Point blank range, kill that one that's wounded. Alright, that's good. So that leaves two of them in... No, no, it's all three of them in the AoE. That's irritating. Apparently CR is now flanking one of them. Okay, so we've got James back here. He can suppress, but he can't shoot. You'll get a shot if I move you here, though, I think. Oh, and that's a flank, apparently. Ah, but it's not on the one who's wounded. It's a coin flip, but I need him to go for the one that's wounded. That's a miss. Damn it. Okay, so it's only CR. It's only Taya I have left. That's all half cover. Get the kill. You didn't get the kill! Oh, god damn it. So now I'm stuck with a bit of a choice, aren't I? Do I throw CR to the wolves and hope that he survives a turn of three of them shooting him? Unless they go for the shiv. Or do I get a kill, let them hack, and then just defend the encoder? How much health have you got? 5, 10, 15, 16 health. I think you can do it. I think you can. I should have thrown smoke down, maybe. I'm going to run with him. I need to block the hack, yeah. Please shoot the shiv. I don't even care about the shiv now that I know I can't give it a custom name. Okay, that was hollow targeting on Fraser, of all people. That was a very strange choice of a target. This is equally strange. That's just bizarre. It's a grenade on Taya, who was in cover, so it only did three. It did destroy part of the cover, though. Uh, okay, sometimes the AI does weird stuff, and... This is an example of that. They've picked really weird things to do here. The smoke bomb, notwithstanding. The other stuff was weird. Oh, and here comes the backup. That's a heavy with a rocket. That's bad. That's uh, that's just an infantry guy. That's fine. And then there'll be a medic from somewhere, probably. And I'm just going to stay here and start sniping then. 61, 66. Go for the 81 then. That's a kill. A great view of a kill too. I love that shot. Should have hit the steam screenshot button there for that angle, I loved that. That was a 9 crit as well, that was nice. Okay, so... He's in smoke but he's only got 1 HP. CR needs to stay in here so that it doesn't... get hacked. I don't like that that heavy's over there though. I mean, it would be very easy for CR to kill this guy. In fact, I could just, you know... I, I said I was going to punch many people, so I'm going to punch him. Kinetic strike! Your soul is mine! It's a shame there wasn't enough scenery there to knock him into, but still. Damn, I love doing that. Okay, so. What can Shiv do? Oh, Shiv's actually providing cover, so I do have the upgraded version of that that does that. Okay. You will get a shot on him from here, so you might as well. He's got a rocket, so I am worried about him. I don't want to keep my people clumped up for that reason. That's a bad 60% miss there. You're... well, if I put you there, you'll be in full cover from him, but he still lives. Also, Mushmush is in a bad position as a result, too. You could run back into the bus, though. You may not have a shot, but you're safe. Alright, fine, fair enough. Actually, that was running, and I didn't realise it. 68. Pretty good, go for it. Good, considering you're using a basic gun, I'm... I'm fine with that. Hmm... Actually, your fantastic movement means you can flank this bastard. Yes. Do me proud. Didn't get the kill though, that's unfortunate. Hmm. I'm just going to have to maybe take a shot in the back then. To try and secure this kill over here. Okay. I don't want him firing a missile at anybody. That's not a great shot, but go for it, Taya. Come on. Yes. She might get shot in the ass, but she can heal herself. You got a promotion as well. And there will be more backup, or there might be a turn of rest first. Oh, 
the guy over there isn't counting as triggered now? Oh, what a surprise, there was a guy over there. <laughs> he used a run move to try and get in there. Oh, I actually forgot that medic was hiding down there, but... You've just signed your own death warrant, really. And also, CR can just regen exactly that much damage. Uh, yep. Actually, I get it. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait, because I think what I'll probably do with my character this turn is just reload for the next wave of proper reinforcements. Good man, Moosh Moosh. I don't even care that there was one damage, I'm just impressed you can land shots. So, reload with my character. And we'll have one, two, six, seven, eight. You have more HP, but you're also a medic, and he's in the open, whereas you're in cover. So we'll just walk behind you, and then we'll steal your soul if you don't mind. <laughs> Alright, why didn't CR regen that? I could have sworn I bought him the upgrade to regen's HP, didn't I? Hmm, the ship probably needs to reload this turn as well, actually, so... Oh, hey there. I'm just going to point this gun at your face if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah you were fine with that. It's okay. So i really rather like if the shiv could reload, so flank his ass here. Oh, never mind, that's not a flank apparently. Still, you're going to get the kill, I think. Nope, no, never mind, you're not. So the shiv is going to have to waste his bullet because he's the last one, right? Oh no, no, we've got Fraser. He might get a shot from the full cover here. If you can't, then you reload. You can. 58, what's your chance with the pistol? He's got one health, so you might as well use that. Nice! I'm about to start keeping score. Yeah, you are. Alright, we'll move the shiv to a firing position, and then we'll reload him. And then we'll deal with the next wave. There's probably going to be two more waves of XO, I think. That's usually how this goes. Oh yeah, you do. Oh, it's at the end of my turn, not the start of the turn, I see. Okay, that's a heavy he needs dealt with. That's a medic. And finally, that's another heavy, so we've got two rocket dealers. Okay, I've only got one shot, so I'm taking it. I'm going for the crit. Go for it, go for it. Yes! Didn't get the crit, unfortunately, so it wasn't a kill, but still. So, James, you're being flanked. There's not a very high chance that you'll do enough damage to kill this guy, and that car is going to explode, actually. So, we'll run you here so you're not flanked. And damage him. If nothing else, damage him. Okay, or you could just get the kill. Great. You're doing well. Uh, you really do need to reload this turn. So can we get CR down in front of this guy? We can. Not close enough to punch him to death, I mean. But we can get him close enough to get a good shot with his minigun. So that's what we'll do. Must remember there's the medic as well, but we can deal with... Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that to be a one-hit kill. He'll need to reload now, though. Where is that medic? Um, yeah, there was a medic. Where was he? He's Oh, he's hiding down here somewhere, right? Um, okay, well, if he wants to come to me, we can just do reloads this turn then. Because people do need to reload. Is that not counting his cover? Oh, yeah, it is. It is. Okay. Reload. Moosh Moosh can just go on Overwatch. You need to reload, but I'm going to move you around that side because we know the one enemy on the map is over there. And the Shiv can just position himself. Maybe you can see him, in fact. No? Okay, fine. Overwatch and wait for him to come to us. And as he takes his move, I'll take a drink. Go for it, Shiv. Aw. Yeah, take the shit out of that car in the distance, though. It's going to explode now. He ran forward and then his morale broke, so now what are you going to do? You're going to try and run forward again. You're just going for the hack. Moosh, moosh. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's okay though, you've done well so far. Your lightning reflex has really helped out. That explodes because we knew that was going to happen, yeah, okay. So, no one else jumped in that turn, so this would have been a turn of like rest, but because I didn't kill everybody in the one turn. Well, CR, you obviously need to reload, but we'll get you back into the hack zone first. Just to, you know, intimidate the medic. How the hell is this not a flank? I can see his back. I can literally see his back. I, well, I mean, it's a 100% chance to hit, so we'll still go for it, but still. Whoa! Nice. Fraser got a promotion, so you're going to overwatch. I will overwatch. You obviously have to reload, James. 
You can... Why can't... Oh, you can overwatch. Actually, you're going to heal yourself. I'm just a bit paranoid something might happen. It might be a waste, but I don't think I'm going to need all of my medkits. You know, famous last words, I guess. And the Shiv will... Overwatch, yeah. And this will be the... Yep, final wave. Okay, good. Ah, sniper, eh? Okay, that's interesting. Another sniper, but this one's triggered Overwatch. It's a bad mess because my Shiv hates lampposts, apparently. And... Oh, another one. Oh, I'm taking the reaction. Go for it. Go for it. Come on. Yes. Didn't get the kill, unfortunately, but that's fine. Okay. And someone else? Yeah. What the hell is with this camera angle? Mishmish is taking the shot. He got it. Two damage. Right, so two snipers over there, and I because of this bloody camera angle, I can't tell what he is. Uh, just an infantry guy, I guess? That's a medic, I think, because I can see the brown top. Okay, so that's four. Uh, whoa, 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 where the... Okay, so that's five. And he's overwatched. Okay, this is actually interesting. I have 100% on that guy up there, but I don't really want to shoot him. Or do I? No, he's overwatching, right? 90% chance to crit as well. I can't resist a shot that good. Covering fire? It's a good job you're a bad shot. I didn't remember that covering fire was a thing. Flat. Oh, that was a medic up there as well. So you're being flanked by this sod here. They're both medics, in fact. So snipers on that side, medics on this side, eh? Okay. Well, you can obviously flank him. You're only using a basic gun, though, so... 70% chance to crit at this range, though, so yeah, go for it. You did get the crit, but, again, you weren't using a laser weapon, so that's not unexpected that it wasn't a good shot. Alright, Taya, you can hopefully finish the job here. Yes! So one medic that side, two snipers other side. Ideally I want the Shiv and CR to take out the snipers because... And the one who's really wounded is hidden here somewhere, right? Where will I get line of sight on him? Here maybe? Yes? No. Well, if I have to shoot the other one I will. If nothing else I could maybe force him to move. Oh, or I could just get a 10 crit. <laughs> That's fine too. That's preferable in fact. So yeah, the other medic, uh, rather the other sniper who's wounded is hiding down here somewhere. I might see him now. He's only got one HP. Yep, there he is. I could have thrown a grenade if I'd had it and got the achievement for killing an enemy that I could see with bioelectric skin or whatever, but not physically see. 43% chance to hit isn't actually great, so you know what, I'm going to suppress him. Oh, actually that car's now going to explode, so who can Mush Mush see? Um, yeah, might as well. You've got the shot. Alright, fair enough. It looks like you almost shot a James there, but still. And CR can't get close enough to punch his soul, unfortunately, so I think this guy's going to survive unless CR gets a crit. Nah, 10% chance. Oh, apparently it is a kill. Okay. Ho oh! ho! Alright, so he's suppressed, uh, but he has to move because otherwise the explosion's going to kill him. You have to move or you're going to die. Yeah. Oh, that would have been such a setup, a great setup if the Overwatch from him running while suppressed killed him. It does mean he won't be able to fire. Uh, you're using my shiv for cover? What the fuck do you think you're doing? He, he, he degraded my shiv. He used it as his own cover. So the shiv is the one who's going to get... No, wait, no, the shiv, no. Use your head, not your heart. The shiv shouldn't get the kill because shivs don't get XP. So he doesn't need a rank. Who needs a rank? James technically needs a rank, or Mushmush Mush, actually. actually. Yeah, I kind of want Mushmush Mush to get the kill, so running gun with Mushmush. Mush. Moving at the speed of death. Move right behind that sniper, point the pistol at the back of his skull, pull the trigger and have no regrets. Yeah, remember me? When you touched my shiv? That's it, yes. <laughs> You've got a crit. <laughs> 16 exalt, no casualties. That went really, really, really well. I like that kind of exalt mission. It's far easier to handle. Also, it's a bit more intense because you're like camping an area and they just swarm at you from all sides. So yeah, that did go well. And what else are we having done recently? I need money. Does that give you money? Hmm. So we have ranks. All right, so Taya's max rank now, right? No, second max. So that's deep pockets. 
uh, limited use items in your inventory receive one extra use, so that makes you an even better healer. Also, your aim is up to 90 now. That's great. And Fraser... Oh, you're behind in ranks, actually. I should have got you the kill, maybe. I think... Well, Good Rory has the combat drugs. Taya has the dense smoke. So I'll give Fraser the combat drugs. Kind of try and make it even here. And did Mushmush... Oh, we got a heal, please. Okay, good. Mushmush did get a rank. Excellent. So we can get flush shot. Can you do flush shot with a pistol? Fire shot that causes the enemy to run out of cover. This shot is easy to hit with, but does reduce damage. I think that might be a, a main weapon attack only. Hmm. Well, actually, do both of these require a main weapon? I'm not entirely sure. I prefer flush shots, though, because they get enemies out of high cover. Okay, good job, Mishmush. Well done. Got some exalt weaponry to sell, if nothing else. We've worked out another bit of intelligence about where the exalt base is. Intel decrypted. Possible exalt base locations narrowed. So if we go to view covert operations, the ones with these X's, we know for a fact the exalt base isn't there. So we've marked off most of this half of the map here. Well, it's not half the map, but, you know, half of the screen then. But we're not going to do the final base assault until we know for sure where it is, because I want that achievement. Although it also puts in hints here. So we know it's not in a European country for sure, and it's not on an island country. Fair enough. We did get a bit of cash there, so what were the many, many things I wanted to do with said cash? It was tons of um, foundry projects, right? Or was it facilities? I can't do any more facilities until the thermal generator gets made, and the council report will happen by then anyway. Or almost, so it'll be foundry then. Ah, right, you have to buy the ability to get the suppression with a shiv and this gives mechs and shivs more ammo I believe oh no apply to the same techniques to our own weapons oh so it's all weapons then all beam weapons that seems really good or we could give shivs a laser for hunt. let's get ammo conservation oh but there's so many good things here sentinel drone that makes the shiv better at targeting. Tactical rigging is fantastic. I think that was an addition in Enemy Within. All this foundry stuff is amazing. But I'll do that because we're using laser weapons now. This is a just a straight up upgrade for all of it. So yes. What's the next cheapest upgrade here? Improved med kits are 125. The shiv laser is 100. Improved uh, shiv suppression is only 40 actually. That's pretty cheap. Surely we can get the 40 for... I only need to find $10. I can sell some Exile weapons for that. So we need the Grey Market. They're only worth one each, but still, you don't need lots of them. I can't remember how much I needed, but that's more than enough, right? Yeah, I needed 40 and I'm 47 now. So that means we can get the Shift Suppression. Yeah, so they can pen enemies as well. It takes seven days, so we have got stuff in the process. And now we have a medal to give out. Heal please, award medal. So this means the person with this medal gets healed for more. Um, who has a lot of HP? Rory has a lot of HP, but I'm going to give it to Taya because she seems to get shot a lot for whatever reason. So I'd rather like her to be able to get healed for more per medkit. Alright, that's good. Yes, salute. Thank you. You did us well. So I think that's going to conclude this episode. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like, and there will certainly be more XCOM Enemy Within to come. Almost daily at this point, if not actually. And we've, we'll, we'll get at least one more mission before the end of the month, actually. So I don't know what we'll be doing next. It might be a terror mission. might be more abductions. Who the hell knows? I guess we'll find out. Stay tuned for more. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Anyway, ta-ta for now.